Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two different games. The first of which is Hanaranai, a horror game about going on adventures and possibly completing those adventures. Or not. Stop! Come back here! That little devil took my halo. Hey player, the demon named Nai stole my halo, and an angel like me needs my halo. Wanna go on an adventure with me to get it back? Nah. Nah. Great, let's go together. He ran off somewhere to the right. Why do I look like Bomberman? Hey, Angel, I look like Bomberman. I, I totally look like Bomberman. These spikes look dangerous. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Bomberman. I mean, not Bomberman. Get your text out of my face so I can jump between these things. Whoop! God, I just, I skirted those. There he is. Nye, give me my halo back. No. Are you kidding me? This halo is mine now. You'll never get it back. We'll fight you if we have to. We will. Right, player? No. All right, then. Give it your best shot. Because nobody beats the mighty Nye. I, I don't even care about this. Nye? No, I don't care about this. Leave me alone. Stop shooting stuff at me. Seriously, you can have it. I don't care. I'm not getting paid for this. You think I do things without being paid? Bob. Good for you. You shoot those stars. You're accomplishing things in life. Alright, Bob. Youch! Fine, you win! Here's your stupid halo. I didn't even want it anyways. Yay. Yeah, I got my halo back. What a fun adventure. But it was a little shorter than I expected. Well, you are a Game Jam game. So I mean, a 48 hours after all, going on the description. Wait. If the adventure is over, that means you're about to close the game. Yeah. Maybe do a little post-commentary. You know, the usual stuff. And if you close the game, I'll... You're what? Oh my god. Are you allowed to say that? You're an angel. You wouldn't do that to me, right? Sure. Hey. Hey, player. How about we give this adventure a second round? You know, keep this momentum going. It'll be fun. There's no reason to stop playing at all. Um, the game's finished. We can stop playing. I can go and do other things, play new games. Uh, maybe start a garden, you know? I hope this isn't getting boring for you, right? I'm kinda bored. Of existence. Jump between these things. Typical things. Hey, now you gonna be over here? Well, we already have your halo. What are we... What are we gonna beat up Nye for this time? Their lunch money? Oh, there he is. Hey, Nye, give me back my halo. What? I already gave you your stupid halo back. Oh. Hmm, are you gonna throw it to Nye? But we need a reason to fight you. Or else our player might here might get bored. Well, tough luck then. Are you sure you don't want to fight? Yeah. What if I told you the player here thinks you look stupid? No, Nye looks pretty cool. You look kinda stupid. No offense. What? Is this true, player? No, I literally don't have any dialogue. Look at me. I'm a blank slate. Bomberman. Nobody calls me stupid and get away with it. Please. Nye, no. Please. Not right now. Nye, you have the same attack patterns as before. You have to mix this up or I'm just gonna stomp on you like this. Okay, whatever. Clearly you don't care about this, Nye. Good for you. You shoot those stars. Ow, I'm out of here. Well, we put the game. Man, he's running off. So much for a final fight. It was the same exact fight. Well, we can't stop just yet. Yes, we can. 
How about we go for a third round? No. No, I get. It's boring to play the same thing over and over. Yeah. Here, how about this? Hey, player! Check this out. I rearranged the level layout, so this time it's different. This makes you want to keep on playing, right? Not really. Got any unlockable CGs? Some secrets, maybe? You know, I really haven't found out what happens if I step on the spikes. Do I die? Is that in my existence? Please stop talking. This is so much fun, right? Isn't this like the same as before? It's the same as before. Buddy. Come on now. Hey, hi now. How you doing? It's you guys again? Yeah, you want to play some Mario Party? Be more fun than this. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight anymore. Do you not get it, Nye? If the player gets bored and closes the game, we stop existing. And without an antagonist, they'll stop playing for sure. Why don't you become the antagonist? Hanare, we can't keep the players here forever. And frankly, I don't want to play as an antagonist anymore. Are you stupid? Are you going to get us a race? Hey, if you want an antagonist so much, then why don't you play the role? Fine. If you want an antagonist, I'll show you an antagonist. Okay. What? Oh, hey, 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 wait, 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 Hunter, Hunter, how is this? Nah, no, wrong game, wrong type of game. Murder makes for a good antagonist, right? No. Doing this unforgivable act will submit me as antagonist for sure. And that way the roles failed. And the player can keep on playing. Forever. Not really. I mean, I, I don't really care for anyone here. Isn't that right, player? Isn't this fun? Aren't you excited to see what happens next? No. <laughs> Did you just kill Nye? Um. I, are, you just committed murder. Bummerman. Hey. Hey, where are you? There's no, like, shooty laser things. It's just spikes now. You don't have the budget for the shooty lasers anymore? Is that what's happened? Nye was right. I can't keep you here forever. No, you can't. See you later. But I'm so scared. I don't want to stop existing. The thought of it terrifies me. But regardless of how scared I am, it doesn't justify my actions. So if you want to close the game now, you can do that, okay? But may I ask, if you're going to close the game, can we at least do it together? That's weird. Don't tell me that. Yes? Do we just... We're, we're hugging it out. We're hugging it out. I think... I think I'm stuck here till I close the game. Uh, thank you. Nope, they're talking. Yeah, they just closed the game. So I guess that's it for Hana and I. So, game character realizes they're gonna die as soon as I close the game. So it made me think of one shot. That made me think of that instantly. But unlike one shot, our uh, video game pro tag mascot got a knife out. And if you resort to the knife that quick, you have to ask yourself, maybe you need to, like, you need to breathe in and calm down a little bit. Come to terms of life, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's... I guess you would say it's a cute little thing. It's a little weird looking, but it's kind of cute in its own way. Uh, aside from that, I can't comment too much on it. It is a 48-hour game jam horror game. While not the most necessarily unique subject matter, it is executionally actually perfectly fine. For, for a game jam, like a game, like, it, it's completely solid on that end, like, art, programming, feel-wise, there's none of that kind of jankiness or anything. So, not bad job, developer. Anyway, on to the next game. The second game we'll be playing is also a game about adventures, and it's called Monomyth. 
And this is one is about the hero's journey. I have woken up in a bed. It's a very pretty sky out there. And the world is very blue. Also, we're floating in the void. Skybox void. This is our bathroom. There is a giant cell phone with an emoji face. Well, more of a smiley face in general on it. Yep, we're in a weird, surreal world, all right. Time for a new adventure. Okay. <laughs> it's adventure time. Get them away, phone. End of game gate. When we only use is prohibited unless returning with elixir. Wow, I'm really experiencing the hero's journey. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the journey right now. Hello, smiley face. Oh, hello. I'm your mentor. Here is my wisdom. Your friends love you. You tell me to use the power of friendship? Sure. Man, it's so dark over here. Huh. Well, we're on a journey. We're on an adventure. It's a lake here. Um, there's like a bunch of lakes. It's like hot springs. I'm not sure what I'm here to acquire. But you know, it's the hero's journey. It's all that matters. Because it's all about the friends you meet along the way. Nothing else. No, seriously, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, they b I bounce off of it. Nice. That's fun. It's almost like jello. I guess I'm just going forward. I can't go up that. I need to hop two. I feel like my journey and adventure is the adventure through a painting. <laughs> or perhaps a, a blueprinted comic strip. Oh, I found something. Here we go. Hey, buddy. Hehe. <laughs> You're an insecure little waffle maker, aren't you? I love that insult. I'm gonna keep that one. Insecure waffle maker. In contrast to, you know, a secure pancake maker. Pancake people are very secure in their lives. Man, there's a lot of you little guys. Ho ho! You're just a trash dragon, you know that? You guys are good at this! I guess the adventure was the insults we made along the way. Ah, pa, 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 pa. You're tone deaf, loser. That's just rude. That's not funny or creative. Kiki, you're nothing but a pompous bone box. Well, yes, I am a bone box. How did you know? What you got for me, buddy? <laughs> you ain't Tifa, that's for sure. No, I'm clearly not Tifa, okay? Ma -ma 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 -ma. You have no sense of taste. You no, know, I have a sense of taste. It makes you think of the One Piece characters. They all have, like, unique laughs. Noob. Straight to the point, I like it. Don't hear noob as much anymore. Elite Hexors. Roar, 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 roar. Yeah, this is One Piece. You're nothing but a weakling. You know, I wouldn't know. Not really sure what we do in this universe. Don't see things to fight or what they do. See a cave there. Zee ha 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 ha. Give up your dreams, fool. Nah, I'm good. Don't worry, anime will be some baby. Someday, be real.
was this really? Is this entire game a metaphor for One Piece? I'm I'm being a hundred percent serious. Go into oh my god. I have truly gone into the lake. The world is a thing full of eyeballs. This all makes sense. Good for you. So where am I going? Am I in the void again? Hello? Help? Oh wait, there's something. Can't really tell, you know, considering everything looks the same. I can't tell up or down. Oh, thank God, it's, uh... The thing we need. What the... The hero's journey is a long, windy road. I'm being literal. It's a long, windy road. That we gently walk on. Sometimes. I can see everything below me. That's the hot spring zone. The, the jello hot spring zone. There's the eyeball tower that I fell through. So technically it teleported me up and then dropped me down. If you want to like be persnickety about the game design. Can I just skip this? Yeah. The hero learns to skip in this journey. Hello. In part be wisdom, great old generic bad thing. <laughs> A fool. Quiver in fear for your journey ends here, hero. You will never get past me. The bat king. I'm gonna walk past it. Damn you, Rangers! I think my journey does end here. We're kind of sinking fast. This thing is not stable. It's actually just a. It's gonna like tip over like a pancake. Are we done? You have completed your quest. I see my advice has pitched you well. Please reward yourself with a nice long rest. I'm resting. Like, can I just leave for the gate and not go that way? Just leave. Oh damn, you did it. Nice. You didn't enter the through the gate, though. Aha! I have come through the other side of the gate using my exploiting skills that I have learned by exploiting MMO out of bound zones. I win! What the hell, bro? Why are you out here dispelling the artifice? That's right. I'm breaking all the rules. I'm leaving. No more adventures for me. I'm going to a romance comedy manga. The end of the road. Yeah. Um, I'm in the void. This might be a bad idea. So I guess that's it for Monomyth. A artsy game, in so many words. It, it's in that kind of spectrum of... You have a few kind of game jam games. You have... A kind of mimicking retro style games. Like... A little mini version of, say, a famous platformer or something. You have, say, a quick jump scare type game. You have a kind of quick cutesy kind of game. And then you have a quick visual artsy game. And it's almost like you go into, like, a, a film festival. Like, there's different types of films. So this is more towards that indie artsy aspect. And I'm going to assume, and I'm going to take this literal, that this was just all symbolic for the story of One Piece. Um, and it might have spoiled the ending of One Piece. In fact, it might have revealed that One Piece is just the bed we come back to at the end of the night. Or something. I don't know. I will say on a small note, because I can't add too much commentary to a game like this. It was a relaxing game. 
And not just because the visuals were feel, but because it made me think of old games, as in old PC games, and how they were very loose with their boundaries and, like, level design. So you'd sometimes just wander around, basically, a uh, shape texture for a while. And you were okay with that. You know, you were kind of, like, it had a certain zen-like nature to it. So that's what it made me kind of think of. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play these two different games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.